Kanye West step aside, there's a new sheriff in town. Alright folks, let's unpack the recent whirlwind surrounding boxer Ryan Garcia. Buckle up, because it's a wild ride. First, we gotta rewind, remember the PBD podcast with entrepreneur Patrick Bet David? Garcia's entrance was, well, let's just say, unconventional. He rolled in late, looking disheveled, and sported a mysterious white cast on his arm, which he later admitted was, just for show. When it came to the interview itself, things got even more peculiar. Garcia offered vague answers, deflected questions with jokes, claiming to be a Christian while using foul language, eating peanuts live on the mic and his overall demeanor left viewers scratching their heads. Was this just playful banter, or something more? Then came the X-Space Live audio chat with controversial figure Andrew Tate. Here, Garcia made some truly concerning statements, alleging past trauma, including childhood assault where he says, they raped me when I was two years old. He goes, I don't give a fuck, bro, they raped me, right? I was two years old, they raped me. I have proof of that too. And also that he witnessed young children getting raped at Bohemian Grove. He also went on tangents about the Illuminati and even aliens, leaving many questioning his mental well-being and also if he's on drugs. His ex-account exploded with a series of cryptic and disturbing posts. He ranted about the Illuminati controlling the world, claimed his phone was hacked and his credit cards frozen, and even posted a video suggesting he was harmed. These erratic posts fueled speculation and worry, with some fans even questioning if he was under the influence of drugs. Now, it's important to note that Garcia has since addressed some of these issues. He claims he's okay and that some of the online activity was taken out of context or even fabricated. However, the episode has left fans, experts, and his upcoming opponent, Devin Haney, deeply concerned. So, what's next for Ryan Garcia? Whether this is a genuine cry for help, a bizarre publicity stunt, or something else entirely remains to be seen. Some speculate that he has shown signs of being on cocaine, some say he is showing signs of serious mental illness, I am talking schizophrenia, and some even say this is a publicity stunt to avoid boxing Haney, one thing's for sure, the boxing world is holding its breath, waiting for the next chapter in this ongoing saga.